According to the legend, the village priest at the end of the 19th century, Baranger Saunier, was involved in a huge conspiracy. It's claimed that he found a great treasure here and became fabulously wealthy. Some say he found the tombs of Mary Magdalene and even Jesus Christ, while others say he discovered the hidden treasures of Jerusalem. There are even those who claim that he was handsomely paid off by the Vatican to cover up and maybe hand over whatever he discovered. Rennes-le-Chateau is an interesting little town in the south of France in the mountains that has some interesting characteristics. A local priest named Berenger Saunier was in charge of the local parish. And suddenly in the 1800s, he started making massive changes to the church. The church was dedicated to Mary Magdalene, which was not that uncommon in the south of France. There was a, a cult known as the Black Madonna cult that basically venerated Mary Magdalene. So Sunier started making improvements to the church and built a big house and built a big tower and had suddenly come into a lot of money. And the question was where that money came from. Historian Andrew Goff has spent years investigating the Priory of Sion and the Rennes le Chateau mystery. He believes that the village priest, Berenger Saunier, deliberately left clues to what he discovered in the decoration of the church. So this is the church of St. Mary Magdalene. We walk in, and this is what we're greeted with. Amazing. I mean, a devil. What's a devil doing greeting you in a Catholic church or any kind of church? Actually, it's not a devil. It's Asmodeus, who is the keeper of Solomon's temple and treasure. Asmodeus is known in mythology as the guardian of the great treasure of the Temple of Solomon. And it's very unusual to find the statue at the entrance of a church. Did Saunier place it here to signify that this church was a place that concealed a great treasure also? Some people believe that he left an enormous clue in one of the stations of the cross on the wall of the church. This is really interesting. The stations of the cross are generally standard, but there's some that are really peculiar, and this is one of them. So this is Christ being moved into or out of the tomb. What makes it peculiar is the fact that it appears to be a nighttime scene. And it appears to be a nighttime scene because there's a moon in the upper left-hand corner. And by Jewish law, you can't have a burial at night. So it seems to be, researchers believe, calling attention to the fact that something is not quite right with the story about the burial and arguably the whole crucifixion of Jesus Christ. The implication here is that if Christ is being moved at night, he's still alive. 